Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another ReZero set review with Pittsburgh Weiss Schwartz. I am Brian here with Andy Carmen and Zach. I'm here. Uh, today, we, today, we're going to talk about the red cards in the set. Uh, I guess we will be continuing last video's trend of following the uh, manga reading flow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll read about this cards. fucking. Uh, so, okay. Car Carmen gets to start us off. All right, this is a card that sends you straight to jail. Um, go straight to jail, Beatrice. Um, when your other character becomes a reverse invadable, you choose one of your other characters and gets 500 power, and it's a salvage brainstorm, self-rest. Um, yeah, like I said, this card sends you to jail. That's um, A+. Plus. Yeah. yeah, good card. <laughs> so, <laughs> comparing this to the Ram brainstorm, I think that's the big thing right now. People are saying, oh, yeah. do I keep playing Ram? Do I play this card? Um... Let me tell you how clean cut works, right? <laughs> so clean cut, when you reverse something, like you crash your bomb, you crash your brainstorm, whatever, and then when it becomes reverse, you can give your clean cut 500 power. Then you can cut it to the back row because your clean cut goes to 3-5, right? It sets your clean cut to 4, which beats over other oversizes. So mm -hmm. it's all about what you value. Do you value being able to edge out the zero game? with your clean cuts or do you want to bond ditch bond to a two one bomb so it really depends what you want that's really yeah. the only because they're both the same color yep um they're both rest one salvage so do you want to spend like five extra dollars per card to buy this card because you care about the clean cut thing or do you want to just ditch bond to the two one um it's Ex all about the extra what you 500 want. power thing is useful all throughout the game yeah I don't know. I definitely immediately switched over to this card the second I realized like how good the Rem Clean Cut was and that I was going to run three or four of the Rem Clean Cut in every ReZero deck I made. Yep. This instantly like, like if you're running a if you're running like a Maids deck, like a Rem and Ram Maid Waifu deck, that's the only reason I'd run the uh, Ram over this. I mean, yeah. bonding to the bottom it, it is a bottom deck or bomb. Like it's worth noting, it is a good card. Like, yeah, it is, but are you really wanting to hold your brainstormer and well, field this it? Doesn't that give your, this doesn't give your Subaru's Barasu trait. You're which right. The Rem does do, yeah. That's very important to think about. But yeah, in all serious, I think seriousness, I think it literally just depends on what you want. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's preference. I mean, th this goes in any deck that's not running blue for sure, 100. percent But I think this is generally more good. Versus yes, where the yeah. RAM is more of a local meta call. Situationally where, good. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, I'm playing against a bunch of early plays. So, I'm gonna... Or like, okay, so when you're playing against a lot of Love Live Sunshine, I think this becomes objectively worse than RAM. Because if you're running three copies of each in one RAM, you can just bond to it over and over again. And just get yeah. it again. Like, mm -hmm. which is like really good. So like, you can... So th think about it this way. You can brainstorm, hit your brainstorm because you're re-zero on second deck. Uh, put your ram, grab another ram, put, like put your ram back in play, like bond to it if you need to hand filter or just grab the 2-1 again. Um, it just like opens up options for hand filtering, whereas this is just like better on the board when it sits there forever. And it has synergy with clean cut. So it, and I like just, this is good in multiples too. Like, yeah. these effects will stack, like, if you have multiple Bettys. I got hit with that earlier today, actually. That could get, I like, run, real crazy yeah. real quick. This is... Yeah. I don't know. Ram's all right, but this is this card's, like, the brainstormer you want to play in ReZero. Again, I, I literally think it's just a meta call. It, it depends on what you want. I think this one is generally better, like, because of the, the clean cut alone. I think it is generally better. But there yeah, are, like there even are if the other one Ram is like good. objectively better versus Sunshine, it's like every other person at your shop playing Sunshine than you. Yeah, I think if that's and... the case, you should quit the game and stop playing. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that, that's probably not fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think in Japanese, there's more of an argument for the RAM because like you never know what you're gonna see, and like being able to just on demand grab a a bottom decker bomb is really really good. But that doesn't make this card worse. Like I just I think this card's really fucking good. I agree with you guys. A plus, great brainstorm. All 
All right, next card. All right, my girl Ram. Tropical Life. When this card's placed on the stage, she gets 1500 power, and when you reverse with it, if you have the gate climax, you choose a character in your waiting room and return to your hand. So, just a generic on reverse salvage. Mm. Alright, so I'm not a big fan of Ram. However, adorable card, funny flavor text, adorable fucking climax. Like, I, I, I love the climax great. art. Yeah, the, the climax art is great. Like Real talk, like you, you run this as you're plussing level 1 combo in maids, right? Yeah, this sure. just this just yeah. straight up replaces the previous combo that Maids ran. This the the Ram level one from the first set was so bad. Not, it was not enjoyable to play. Yeah, this is just objectively better. Um, it's free, goes to seven k, very standard. Why are all the double rares in this set the girls in swimsuits? They because actually are. There was fucking promotional art that existed, and they turned it into cards. There was like, um, it's like a, <laughs> it's like photo shoot esque promotional art from a uh, fucking what's it called? What's that magazine called? The ones that they always post the tenorfolds and stuff to our anime. I can't remember the name. I I don't remember. I have a couple issues of it actually. Um, I can't remember the name of it though. But yeah, it all comes from one of those, just like PV promotional art. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, uh, great climax art. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good card. It's good in maids. I'm, I'm gonna give it. I'm just gonna give it a B. Like, it's just a playable climax combo because it's on gate. If this was on any other climax, I wouldn't rate it a B. I'd give it I a mean, C it, plus. It, she, she gets up to seven K plus as it combos with gate. It's uh, it's more selective okay, than the Brian, other combo. Hear me out. You're biased. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Whoa! What an <laughs> argument. <laughs> You got shut Jeez, down, right? Wow. How to shut Leave down someone in one in one statement? <laughs> <laughs> he just stopped talking immediately. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think it's fine. In, in maids, this is what you play. I yeah, think absolutely. I think it's totally fine. Being on gate is big, because like if you're running Ram Waifu, you get to run eight gate. That's pretty sick. Mm -hmm. That red hair. It's the cherry power. Cherry power. All right, we good with this next card? Yep, let's yeah. move on. All right. I think this is you, Brian, right? Uh, it's me. This is oh, Zach. Zach? Yeah. Okay. The Happy Roswell Mansion Maid Mansion Fam. The Happy Roswell Mansion Family Ram. If you have two or more other Magic or Weapon characters, this card gets a thousand power. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, drop to two cards, choose a card in your hand, put it in the waiting room. Climax combo. When the card attacks, if Invasion of the Witch Cult is in your climax area, you may pay the cost. Uh, pay one to start a card. If you do, to get up to four cards from the top of your opponent's deck, choose up to four cards from among them, put them into your opponent's waiting room, return the rest through your opponent's deck, and your opponent shuffles his or her deck. Okay, it's so uh, kind it's a of decompression. I, I like it. I'm all about that. It's a ram card. It combos with the stock soul. It decompresses your opponent. It's got it all. All right. I mean, certainly that combo. <laughs> I'm gonna be certainly... contrarian. I hate these combos. I hate them. I hate them so much because if you want to play these decompression strategies, I'm just gonna direct you to Green Bang Dream and tell you to play that and just play Mocha. These are just worse Mocha. These are costed worse Mochas. The, they are yeah, worse Mocha. You're not. They're, wrong. they're only ever effective if your opponent's extremely compressed. Otherwise. They're yeah, like, miss. In a That's a completely moot point. You're not playing Bang Dream. You can't talk about fucking Mocha. Okay, in a JP. This, this is, this is, okay, okay, awesome. okay. This is certainly better, right? This card has to be better than the Ram, other Ram Finisher. No, it's The other not. Ram Finisher is what, like a Ping 1? The, uh, no, yeah, she, but Pinging on 1 is better play, than she this. She shuffles back cards from the waiting room into the For deck. free. Three, two or three of them for free, yeah. I, I guess they are similar. back two effects. cards for free. Off gate. Yeah, I get. I, I retract my statement. You're right. <laughs> like, I just hate these cards. I'm gonna be honest. I, I didn't know Juna. what the other one did. <laughs> I hate the Juna, and I hate this card. Like, it has nothing to. Like, I hate this profile. This is just so bad. Like, it is costed worse Mocha, in every way. Like, I just don't understand how. I know Japan likes these cards because they really like the Juna, and. In a defensive compression hellscape where people play eight standby, <laughs> like like maybe these cards are usable. 
But in English, these cards suck. This says pay one, pitch a card, do nothing. I would rather attack and have my damage be canceled. You have to pitch a card too? Yeah. yeah. I would. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> like, I would yeah. rather attack and have my attack be canceled than pay this cost <laughs> and delete climaxes. Yeah, like, that, the Lazing, the Lazing gone in. Gonna go on anti spiral. Uh, has this? I don't think I've ever hit it. Yeah, once. It's just not reliable at all. <sighs> yeah, I mean, re real talk, it's not great. But stock soul. Yeah, the best part of it is that there is another red stock skull that exists. Yeah, and she, them, she like, digs for her, she digs for her I don't own know. It's like Ram going good. to a fucking. Yeah. You know what? I don't even. I'm gonna stop talking. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to make. I don't want to talk about that climax art. It's bad. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, it's bad. It would be. <laughs> anyway, I have this in SR. If anyone wants to buy it, hit me up on Discord. At Bean Wolf and Burn on Discord. <laughs> 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 All right, next card. All right, this is you, Brian. All right, uh, zero zero sisters crisis ram. All of your other mad demon strike ram and beloved's guidance ram get 500 power and hand on core. When you use change, choose one of your characters, and that character gets a thousand power until the end of the turn. And it looks like that uh, that rem over there is like the Ranko from Idolmaster, probably where they switch back and forth. No, no, no. One of them is a bottom deck cost bomb. Oh, one of <laughs> making, them is a bomb, and the making, other one gets power. Making okay. the change completely worthless for half. Okay. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it makes not only the power but also the change worthless. I get the encore is good for bomb. B Encore on bombs is good. Yeah. So it's it's like a seven k, and if that's not enough, you can turn it into a cost bomb. Yeah. Oh, and when you use change, you get a thousand more power, so it's actually like eight k. As the ram gives it power. Yeah. So it, you could go to eight five. You either hit for eight five, or you cost bomb and have Encore. That's like not bad. That, that's a lot of slots. Yeah, I guess that like, raises the question. Is th This is obviously a maids card. Is this a thing you run in maids, or are there better options? Can you really squeeze three, three, and three of all these cards? That's nine cards. I think to make this consistent, you have to run three of each. <sighs> not, not realistically, probably. I guess maybe eight. You could cut the Sister's Crisis down to two, because it would sit in the back. I think you could cut. The, I think you could cut the maid, the maid demon strike down to two. The uh, the mad cost demon. Okay. Path. What does it change from waiting room? I yeah, I guess you could cut, but still, that's that's two, two, three, seven cards. Like uh, that's too and much, that, and that's pretty lean. That's a lot. Like yeah. that's as lean as you could go, I think, and get away with it. And that's still too many cards. Man, I wish my uh, I wish my unseen like, hands could change into seven Ks. What are you running now? One in maids, <laughs> probably secretly sniffing. That card's really good. Yeah. Um. Mm. And your combo, like that's already eight slots. Yeah. I mean, you do want to run more leveled cards. Like you probably want to run fifteen or sixteen zeros in maids because you're trying to hit your yo burns with bath time, uh, ram and ram. But even then, you know, this is eating up two of those zero slots. Yeah, I, I think due to the fact it takes up so many slots, I'm gonna go niche minus on it. I'm I'm gonna give it D plus. Like in this, the card itself is the fact that the card is like worth the second effect is completely worthless for half of the change combo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there aren't. I don't. Are there any other change effects that could impact? No. I, I no. don't know. I, I don't think no. there are any other. Change. Well, no, no, there is. There's like a there's a rem that goes from level one to level two, and then that rem goes from level two to level three. Oh yeah, from set one. Yeah. Is that yeah. change? Is that I mean, yeah, that's change. It's I changed. guess one okay. thing to note is she doesn't have to choose the character that changed to give a thousand power. She can give it to something else. Yeah, and and that change happens twice in one turn. You change, then you change again within the same turn. I'm I'm gonna stick to my guns. I still think yeah, it's, yeah. Bad. It's, it's still it's still not great. Yeah, it's like okay. All right, next card. Yep. Who is this? It's you, Carmen. Oh, is it? Okay, studies Ram. Uh, when you place this card onto the stage from your hand, put the top two cards of your deck in your waiting room. If you get a climax, uh, this card, only this card, gets 3,000 power. Okay. And it's a level zero reverser. This is weird. That's yeah. so weird. That, those are so... 
those are like <laughs> those are like completely conflicting abilities. I mean, like two cards. It's like you, it's like you play no, it, kill something, they... then they. I know they can't kill it back without. I guess it's a good turn. Like I okay, so yeah, Zach brings up a good point. The first effect makes it really good going second if you hit. And then the second effect is, like, good going first because, like, bombs, quote-unquote, have evasion. Um, I mean, how often are you hitting a climax in your top two cards on your first turn, then? If you're me, every time. <laughs> I mean, that, that did happen and today. And then if you, played it, <laughs> if you played it on your first turn in mill two climaxes, you just ruined a cancel. Yeah. But, like, you're, you're running this in your eight gate ram salvage combo maids deck so the mill yeah, is really i mean the valuable. mill the mill is good for maids that so it synergizes with that too I think, yeah i think it's i think this would be really great in the maids deck i like that it can do both right it can hit at 45 or you can bomb so like if you're trying to clear something you either clear something and hold board or you bomb out i think that's cool like they are playing against each other for when you play this card but in that exact situation, this card is very good when you hit. And two, two card mill is just very good. Like free cost, like costless mill is just good in Weiss. Like I'm, yeah. I've, I've just come around to that. Or just like any card that has costless mill is good. Just straight up. Because you can just use it in tricky ways to make sure you refresh right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give it a B minus, yeah. I'm going to do C plus. Plus for me. In that exact situation, it's like one of the best cards you could use. It's cool. 4,500, super good. I think you're probably running like the Amelia Runner, like the Rem Clean Cut over this, though. Oh, this would synergize yeah, really nicely with the has, Rem, yeah, this Rem has, Clean Cut, too. Yeah, this has really good synergy with Rem Clean Cut. Okay, B minus. Yeah, like you use the. Even if you beat over them, you can like cut it back if you want to. Like, it's a card that can either do its job on its own and then has evasion in its position because it's a bomb, or you can use it as a bomb and clean cut it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we had the same conversation with the fingertips. Do you run this over Canopy Piercing Sunlight, though? No. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Yeah, see. See. Don't the card, they yeah. do different things, though, don't they? Or is, is Canopy no. a suicide or two? Can it's a Canopy bomb, Canopy is also a bomb, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I guess that makes it a C. Yeah. 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 Sadly. Unfortunately. Canopy just too fucking good. Mm hmm All right, next card. We got Maid Sisters Rem and Ram. When you play her to the stage from your hand, you can discard a climax. If you do, salvage a magic or weapon character. This has just Amelia's your... leg in it. Huh? It has Amelia's leg in it. Trash card. No, that's Ram that's Ram's leg. That is Ram's yeah. leg. Is it Ram's, Ram's leg? leg? Yeah, Brandon has this exact poster in his uh, apartment. <laughs> <laughs> he does, yeah, he, he does. does. Actually. <laughs> oh my god. Sink. I thought this was like all of them on in. the bed. It over the kitchen sink? Yeah. What a fucking mad man. <laughs> Even I wouldn't do that. I'd just splash olive oil on it. <laughs> it was <above> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this uh, this reminds me of like a promo card almost. It's like uh, because Gurnigan has a promo that does this exact same thing that I run as one of in my uh, one of my decks. Climax uh, filters, this, okay. This all come back yeah. to like, why would you run this over Barry Bomb? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I guess. Well, Barry Bomb, does. Barry Bomb does sack itself. This does. God damn, you. Barry Bomb, too good. Making all these other cards <laughs> not playable. <laughs> I think this yeah. is still playable because this gets to stay on the field. You would have to if you were going to sack a climax with Barry Bomb, you'd lose the card. I guess it's yeah. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give it a C. Like C minus. It's just climax filter. Like climax filter is fine on its own. I can't it, bring yeah, myself can't really to say it's maybe bad. A one of, yeah. yeah, like I can't bring myself to say it's bad. That the effect is good. If it did <sighs> literally anything other than just that. <laughs> Yeah, it, like if it like if it were a free runner with a thousand power, for example. Oh my god, let's not talk about fucking Megamine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next card. All right, this is me. 
Yeah. Uh, Fond of Bubby Beatrice. During your turn, this card gets 2,000 power. <laughs> When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, she's one of your characters, and that character gets a thousand power tail into turn. So it's vanilla <laughs> stat line on your turn. It's a level one. Oh wow, that's a. Why would you that's ever? Supper. Why would you ever play this over the just the Betty Bomb from set one? <laughs> why would you ever play this? <laughs> why would you ever play this card? Period. Because it, it, <gasps> it has it has fucking it is... hilarious art. It's I'm... a rare, but it's a rare, by the way. Oh, it's oh, a rare. Oh, oh, never mind. No, right, no, no, yeah, no. F. F. Yeah, it has F. Book, book trait. They all have book trait. All right, next. Oh, is this me? Uh, oh, yeah. hell Brian, yeah! Brian. Right. Oh, is it Brian? Yeah, Brian. Yeah. All right. Feeling Brian, irritated, Beatrice. What's this other fucking card here? I, I mean, right? Oh, we'll get to that. We'll fucking get to that. Oh, I'll do it. Okay, here we go. Feeling irritated, Beatrice. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage for your hand, it gets fifteen hundred power till the end of turn. If you have the Stock Soul in your climax area and you have two or other magic or weapon characters on attack, you reveal the top two cards of your deck. Your opponent chooses a character event card among them and puts it into your hand, and then you ditch the rest. So. This is a comp climax combo stolen from Summer Pockets because Summer Pockets has all the coolest effects and wise. Um, I don't even know what set came out first, <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is the combo, the oh Kamome combo memes combo. Um, Farman, don't you do you even like Summer Pockets? I fucking love Summer Pockets. Dude. The game? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love Summer Pockets, dude. It's my favorite set in wise. Summer Pockets is my favorite set. Like. Far and away my favorite set. <laughs> it has it has all the silliest effects, and this is one of them. So I love this card. I think that this cli like plus and climax combo is super fucking trolly, and like if I'm the opponent and my opponent does this to me, I don't want you to have any cards. So like it just doesn't fucking matter. And Rezero has so many ways for you to turn a card into a card you want. I don't even think it fucking matters. It just pluses you on attack, and that's good. As long as you plus, yeah. This is the only part of the quote-unquote dress card re-zero build that a Andy is trying to put together that I agree with. I like this level one combo a lot. And it's on stock soul. Doesn't Carmen, what are you, what are you fucking K. talking about? But the build I'm making is literally a stock list with this card. In yeah, it. yeah, whatever. <laughs> this, card, it's, this card isn't set one Amelia, but it's still very good. Because it's Kamome from Summer Pockets. And I like it. Because it's from Summer Pockets. I give it a SMP. Out of ten, it's, it's, it's playable. <laughs> I'd give it a, I'd give it a solid B plus. We love Stocksel. We do love Stocksel. Um, we do. Okay. You're right. It's a B plus for Stocksel. Yeah, B plus. Yeah, I'm gonna give it SMP plus. Awesome. <laughs> All right, next card. All right, I, I guess this one's me since you took my card. Yeah, I did yeah. take your card. I'm sorry. All right. Look of amazement, Ram. It's 500 power for each of your other magic or weapon characters. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you may heal one. What a good card. Freaking so like boring! Card. Sounds like a Trow deck level 3 almost. <laughs> yeah, no, it's Zach, yeah. it's a rare. It is a rare. <laughs> this is fucking a Trow deck card. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Trow deck card with foiling. D. <laughs> 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 Sorry to hit right at the issue, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, next, right, next this card. May, yeah. Yep. This is Beatrice being crucified. Uh, when your other magical weapon character attacks, this card gets 1,000 power for the turn. When you play this from your hand, you can pay one to burn your opponent for one. Then it has a climax combo with the gate. When this attacks, if you have the climax, and two or more other Beatrice characters, she gets 3,500 and on reverse deal of damage. So it's kind of like the uh, Mikasa from mm -hmm. Attack on Titan a little bit. This card is a trap. <laughs> yeah, why, why didn't you guys like this play. card when you played it? What's the, what's the issue with it? You the, have the to have so much up front, dude. Yeah, the aversion is you have to pay the stock up front, which, unlike where Mikasa pays on reverse to, to ping... She, uh, in order to make this card good, you have to put it in a deck where you invest very heavily in your stock in order to get all of your ping. Yeah, stuff. like you have to play this with that Betty combo we just looked at, like the stock yeah. soul, the stock soul mm -hmm. Betty. Like you have to play this in a deck that plays uh, a totally costless mid game into this finisher, more like a deck like AOT would, right? 
Yeah. Um, whereas ReZero is a deck that uses stock aggressively to play insanely high value cards like Rem and Felt. And then how do you play this at the end game? Right? Like how do how do you, how can you um justify playing this at the end game with it? Like you just I would rather spend my stock literally anywhere else. Like this is just Mikasa inverted in the worst possible way. The fact that you have to pay one for the important part, which is the the ping up front, and then you get the ping on the reverse for free when you play the climax. That's like the worst yeah. possible way. I, th I think like on its own the card is fine, but just in context of Rezero the set, it just it plays so counterintuitive to what you want to oh, be yeah, doing. Yeah, for sure. Like everything yeah. about the card in the vacuum is great. Like like this would be fine in other sets. Hits for what is it, fifty five? On climax play, hits for 55 on climax play, pay one ping on placement in main phase, which is super good, because if you play multiples on them, you're pinging, you're doing all the pings before anything else attacks, which is, like, objectively better. Um, and it has cute art, and it's off gate. Yeah. Like, everything about the card is fine until you realize what set you're playing it in, and that if you were playing this kind of game plan... There are so many other decks that do this so much better. Like, so many yeah. other sets that do the same thing better. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I want to like the card. I really, really do. Oh, same. Like, this was the Dude, first card I pre -ordered. I just realized, like, what in the picture, he's pulling her drills. That's mm -hmm. what the picture is. Yeah. yeah. This is right before Subaru throws himself off a cliff and kills himself. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> 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 that, that is the thing that happens, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Everything about this card makes me want to like it. But <laughs> yeah. then, and then it's just like, ugh, I would rather play anything else other than this. Like, I tried so hard to make this work. I think yeah, I played I played this deck yeah. for like two weeks in different shells, and it just never works. Like, it's just too much. It's too much stock to have at that point in the game because you would rather spend it on literally anything else. Yeah, I, th I think it's still it's still somewhere in the playable range. It's just not fantastic. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you like build around it more though. Maybe you like don't yeah, run you... the Rams. Maybe you don't run Felt. Maybe you run like a more costless level two game. You, I think 100... it's literally the Betty Stock Soul we just looked at. I think that yeah, card you... is perfect for this deck. You one hundred percent don't run this in the same deck with Rem. It does not work. I tried it. Like you there, run... there could be there could be a shell for this. Like this is an you, actual finisher yeah, for you, ReZero. You run the busted like zero game that every ReZero deck plays, skewed more towards red. So like four berry bombs. Well, not even. You can just run the Betty Brainstormer because it's a Betty. Two of the um the the broken Betty from set one, the one that just mills two if you hit a climax salvage, costless plus. Mill two on a stick. That card's busted. Um, you run, like, two or three of that, the Betty Brainstormer, um, and, like, three Berry Bombs as your red fix. You run the other busted zeros. You run the Betty Stocksoul, the Betty, uh, 1-0 Bomb, which is the Bomb Reverser. And then you run this as your top end with, like, uh, what other, I guess you could run blue support level threes. You can't run Rem. You can't run Rem. That's the only problem. Like, Rem would be the other good card to splash, right? But you can't. You have to, like, play something else that's, like, a more conventional level 3 to support this. I mean, there's a ton of there's a ton of good cards in ReZero. Well, you could though. literally you run people the... People really no, no, no. do just get hung up on, like, Rem and... You could run the pink-haired... You could run the pink-haired made Rem because that digs 3. That's, that's on it, on play look at three take one which would get you into the gate since this doesn't got draw cards and then the the burn on that the ping one on that isn't a climax combo so you could just play that empty just to get into the gate and feel two of this and the ra the ram that wouldn't be bad you'd be playing like mono red basically Ugh, it's just so much stock yeah it's a lot of stock but i mean you are running stock soul at one and it's an on attack combo which is pretty good True, it, true. So you're running Stock Soul Gate. That's like a pretty good lineup. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a card worth messing with, but like, again, if you were playing this this theoretical build, why would you play that over blue red or blue yellow re zero 
both of which decks are like ridiculously good at what they do. Mm -hmm. In your Betty waifu. Yeah, you'd have to be playing I'm going to jail waifu to go there. All right, let's stop Brittany. talking about jail. I think we're done with this, right? Yep. Like, I, I, I wish this card was good, but it's not. I do too, yeah. Yeah. All right, next card. Uh, Demure Reply Ram. All your level 1,000 or lower characters in front of this card get 1,000 power. Uh, when your other magic or weapon character is front attack, you may sack this. If you do, choose one of your one of your characters in battle, and that character gets 1,000 power until end of the turn. Field backup. Sacks itself off. Not too bad. It's interesting that when it sacks itself off, the assist no longer is relevant. So you sack it to do the same thing it would do if it sat on the field at zero. What? This is... <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So it's like, I, I guess the point of the card is if... Uh, you can you're... field it up front if you have to? Well, no, yeah. that your character in the third lane that it's not covering, if it needs the power and your opponent tried to snipe it, you sack it and give it... Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is the point of it. So at level zero, it makes your level zeros really strong, and then after level zero, you push it forward. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. That's what I mean, they want you to do with it. I guess it, it hits level ones, too. So come level one, I guess you can boost something and kill it off since it's not relevant anymore, but... Eh. This card sucks. And like you can sack it, you can sack it like when they go to do their combo on you or whatever. This card sucks. I guess the 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 most important part of the card is when your other character is frontal attacked, you can sack this. Yeah, that has value, but the rest of the card sucks. Uh, I'm it gonna is. give it a D plus because in the meta, when your other character is attacked, you may sack this card is actually super relevant and nothing else i don't care what the benefit is i don't care what it does when another character is attacked you may sack this as good it's yeah but you're just never gonna play this yeah, oh yeah yeah, yeah. of course i would never i would never put, to ever play. i would never put this card in my deck but that is an interesting like it's interesting that's for an sure, interesting yeah. effect so all right next card all right brian yep frightened ram uh, 2k backup for Rem and Ram characters. Oh, I'm on the wrong card, I think. Yeah, I found it. Okay. It goes in maids. 2k backup. It's, it's fine. 2k backup, broken, but it's in Rem Ram, so C+. Reinhardt, if you're running maids. Yeah, you could just run Reinhardt. <laughs> but I guess... Well, this is a, a magic character, and like I think Rem and Ram search magic. Yeah, I don't, right? I don't. I don't know. I don't what they know. Do. They'd search Rem or Ram or Rosewall. Yeah, it's, it's definitely niche. It goes in a maid's deck. That's it's not interesting much else to that say they just it, I think. printed another 2k costless backup with more restrictions. Got to give those maids uh, the support they need. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's cuter than Reinhardt, I guess. That's all I got. It is. Reinhardt yeah. is definitely not best girl. Hey, don't say that. All right. Is this my? Is this me? Okay, yep, Assassin no. from the Rosewall Mansion, Ram. If all your characters have Ram or Ram in its card name, this card gets 2,000 power. So it's 6k. Uh, when it attacks, if you have another Honest Smile Ram, uh, choose one of your characters, and that character gets 2,000 power to the end of turn. Um, I didn't put that card on this slide, so I don't know what that is. I think that's... Uh, is that a set one card? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uh, do a quick search. Yeah, so am I. No, it's a set two card. It's a zero. Uh, it is a all your other Rem Ram uh, in its name get 500 power and act rest this card choose one of your characters and it gets 500 power until the end of turn uh, so a shitty card yeah it's bad um, it is just a 106k in maids I think that's pretty relevant it requires you to run a bad card for the second effect sorry yeah, there's I... a bunch of sirens going off outside I don't know if anybody heard any of those I heard them <laughs> My bad. People know what you did, bro Carmen. Yeah, they're it's, coming it's after me. It's interesting because we looked that, uh... at all those Betty cards earlier. They're coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they knew. Yeah. Oh my god. But uh, when it attacks, it gives power to another character too. So it's six k on its own, and then it can pump something else too. If you have like, this bad, if you have yeah. the bad card, yeah. Yeah, there's a it's a bad backer card. 
that I can't see myself running. Probably not good enough for the maid stack. Yeah, I'm no, going to no. give it a... It is... I'm going to give it a C- minus just because it's a costless 6k. D for doubt. That you can shroud behind a 2k backup in maid. D, D for maid. <laughs> Alright, next card. This one's me. Which is sent Beatrice? She's a 1-1. If you have two or more other characters, she sits at 7,000 power, and she has a stand and swap. So at the beginning of your opponent's attack step, you can pay one, and then you switch her with one of your other magic or weapon characters. S and S, man. Betty's thing. Stand and swap's so good. I don't like a level one. I don't know. It's a 1-1. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Guess what else Betty has at one? A fucking bomb. Stand and, stand and swap with a bomb on the field is really good. With the bomb, I think this card's great because you're threatening either a wall or a bomb in that slot, and you can't predict it. Like, or rather, you can you have to play around both of them. You have to play around seven k. Um, Rezero does have two k costless backup, so like nine k or bomb. Yeah, so I, I guess here's a question: in In what list do you run this? Is it just Betty Waifu, or because I, I can't see myself running? Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. This is this is just a fucking Betty card. This is just so a then. Card. So then this th that brings up a different question: Do you run this if you're playing the Betty build that wants to conserve all of its stock in order to pop off your level three? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so then, in, in what deck do you play this card? I don't fucking know, but it's fine. <laughs> like the bomb, like. I don't know where you run this card, but it's okay with the the fact that the bomb exists in the yeah. same color. Yeah, whatever in whatever niche it's in, it's good. I guess like it's, it's stand a and swap. Part. I will all stand by until the end of time that stand and swap is the most fucking underrated ability in Y Schwartz. You're you're pretty. And to I I card. know you agree, Brian. Like stand <laughs> and swap is so fucking good. Like it's just such a fucking good effect. No one thinks it, but it's so good. It's really good at level three. Like at level one, you're kind of just playing shenanigans with the bomb. But you know, what are you gonna do? I guess that's it. I, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Next card. Uh, pouting beaters. Pouting beaters. All your characters in front of this card get plus X power. X is equal to that character's level plus times 500. When this card becomes reversed, if you have another cute girl Beatrice in this card, this bad opponent is level 3 or lower, you may reverse that battle opponent. Uh... So it bombs level 3s when if you have running, the Betty yeah. early play out. Yeah, and it's also a level assist. That's That's really that's weird. interesting. That's really interesting with the stand and swap. It's like your anti change and your level assist at the same time. Yeah. Well, you know what this card wants to do is it wants to sit in the back row and then stand and swap with it into a level three. Well, Betty can stand and swap from outside the center stage. Yeah, she can stand and swap wherever. Oh, that's okay. really good. Yeah, that's interesting. Most stand and swaps can only stand and swap the center stage. Hmm. Yeah, that's really I, cool for the Betty deck. I think it's cool, yeah. The running the cute girl Beatrice, the early play, technically right. It's like a you like cheated out a two with the Forbidden yeah. Library, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like this does mean that you cannot run this card in any other deck and get this benefit. But I think for that deck it's fine. So like I, I it's more than fine. I think it's really good. For that yeah. deck, so I think it has to be C plus, right? Like, just definition. Yeah, like, this mm -hmm. is good in that deck, and that deck only. This is very good. This is a very good tool for that deck. Yeah, I I agree. Anything else, Andy, or no? No, I think that about covers it. I don't really have much to add on that one. All right, next card. All right, gaze of contempt, Ram. Uh, another level assist. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you may pay the cost. Uh, pay one, ditch one. If you do, search your deck for a pink-haired maid ram, the level three from set one. Reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Choose one of your magic or weapon characters. It gets 3,000 power till the end of the turn. So it's a drop search at level two for a specific card and is also a level assist. 
So this just gets played in maids. Yeah. I, I don't think I even – do you even play this in maids? You run the uh, you run the, Ro- the Roswell level one in maids, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like why? Why I would rather have Roswell level one than this card any day of the week. Where Roswell level one just reads, I am a Swiss army knife. I, I can't, be, I can't be targeted. Thing. I am a level assist. I can draw you cards. Yeah, like, I just don't see a reason to ever run this card. Uh, I'll give it a D plus just because the card it searches is good. Yeah. And it is yeah, a level assist. But, that. like, it is bad. Like, that, I don't see the point. Also, just, like, terrible art. Like, what's wrong with this card? They, like, picked, <laughs> they, they, like, picked an in-between that looks like it's melting off the card. <laughs> like, completely off-model. Mm-hmm. Ram. It's a stylistic choice, Carmen. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next card. Is this me? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Anxious Ram. Uh, during your turn, all your other downhearted Ram get 2,000 power. Uh, and it's a ditch bond. Do it. So, this is like... I feel like this is the new age of bond combos that get printed in trial decks, but this is yeah, a I, booster. Like I the, it. the new age of bonds instead of being apples is ditch bonds into seven fives on your turn versus six fives that sit cross turn for pay one. Um because Boosty Road realized that printing pluses um at lower rarities was bad for their bit bottom line. Um yeah, very unfortunate. Uh, yeah. I just think this this is bad. I don't know bad what card. else to say. Yeah, I wanted to make like some sort of greater comment about these kind of things, but like I don't know. It's really weird because they print stuff like this, and then they also print like pseudo twin problems engines and trial decks, which are like objectively really good. So like I really just don't know what they're trying to do at any given point. I just think they're just like all fucking idiots. Well, yeah, they're, they're boosting. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure they know what they're doing either. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I prefer like the normal apple combos. They're just way better. Well, everyone yeah. does. They're so much better because they sit they six plus. five cross turn. Backups exist. They plus yeah. Like why would they nerf apples? Like they're already like not that relevant anymore. Yeah. I don't know. It's just weird. Like, it's weird that these keep showing up. Like, I'm really sick of seeing these. All right, next card. The confrontation with Roswell Beatrice. During your turn, she gets 2,000 power. So on your turn, she's 35. And when you play her uh, from your hand, you can discard a card to take a Forbidden Library from your waiting room back to your hand. So that's the event card. Yeah, that's the area precondition. Why are there two cards on the side? I think I put the wrong Forbidden Library up. Yeah, there are, there are two different Forbidden Libraries. Let me, the one on, let me find the, one, the, the actual one on the right, right one. Correct. The one on the left is not the correct okay, card. Okay, so I control f Forbidden Library and grab the wrong card. So hold on, I will fix it right now. I mean, they look very similar. All the Beatrice cards look no, exactly it's the I, same I fucking thing, just a All different right. angle. I, I fixed it. So there I we can, go. Yeah. yeah. So one oh, to two, two, two. two, there's two, one to two, two, there one are. to two, one. So the one advance summons the level three, and the other rest a character with Beatrice in its name. You can choose a level two character with Beatrice, return it to your hand if you do choose a character in your hand with Beatrice, put it on any position of the stage. Yeah, so the new what? Forbidden Library is literally just better. Yeah, uh, I get, one one thing to note is that there is a puck card that gives plus one level to a Beatrice, so you can bounce a level one Beatrice with this and pull out a level three at level two. That's pretty good. That's interesting. Because like your be if your Betty holds field, like they side a bomb or something like that, mm-hmm. um, you get to turn that bomb into a level three. I mean, you could you even just drop a one well, zero like, from hand. You it's can free. effectively summon the cute girl Beatrice with the two one one, right? Yeah, you can. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, it's any, lit- any Beatrice from your it's, hand. It's literally just better. Then you can pull the you can pull the finisher for one stock from your hand. That's pretty good. And then wait, so and then this goes to your memory, so you can only do this four times. 
Correct. So if you do this like once or twice at level two, you can't do this for your end game. I guess. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm I'm a big fan of the uh the cute girl Beatrice stand and swap. It's uh But still, I mean like you can still do that with the two one, so the two two's kind of irrelevant. Yes, exactly, yeah. Especially with the uh the level giving puck, if you can pull out a level early play a level three for one stock instead of two, you always do so. Yeah. Especially if you're conserving your stock for the Beatrice finisher. Yeah, I mean, I think you definitely... This is a really good card for the Beatrice deck, and that makes it C+. Plus. Like, yeah, there is... I think I think it's pretty, like, essential. If, if you're trying to run the... Uh, if you're trying to facilitate the early pay, play Beatrice combo, then you run this card. But yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the only time you'd run it. Yeah, so. there, I mean, there, there's, a, uh, there's a Subaru set one that does almost the same thing. Except instead of getting 2,000 power on your turn, it, on reverse pay one, ditch one, send it to memory, salvage a character. Yeah. But, but yeah, this, this is... This if, you're, if you're playing Betty Tribal. Yeah. You have to run this. I think this yeah. is fine, though. It's, like, it's, 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 yeah, this is the one that I ran. It filters you for a around. card you want. It's an oversized... Or it's a striker that has use later in the game. So, like, mm-hmm. the effect that you're using it for, you don't have to feel bad about it because it's a useful card at zero. Yeah, and that exactly. makes it fine. Yeah. So. All right. All next right. card. Ooh, handsome. Naked Companionship Roswell. P2. When this card is put, in, put into the waiting room from the stage, you may pay the cost of P2. If you do, choose a character in a waiting room and return it to your hand. Hey, it's that, uh, it's that Yo Bomb from Sunshine, except it's not a bomb. It has odd eye <laughs> trait. <laughs> It does. Yeah, this card sucks. Odd eye. This, this is an F, even with a two. Oh, look at that plus. flavor text. Hi there, may I help you? <laughs> yeah, like this is bad. If this had a what bomb, the it'd be fuck sick. Is this? If this had a bomb, it'd be so good. Oh, jeez. It just doesn't do anything. This sucks. All right, next. I, I give it an odd eye. All right, uh, the twin maids ram. Uh, level 0, 2,000 power. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, choose one of your characters with a rem in its card name, and that character gets 2,000 power until the end of the turn. What a waste of this art. Yeah, too situational. I hate it. Yeah, D. There's, I think this is worse than D. I think this Bang. is F. I think this is F. Way too it's situational. Silly. Way too situational. Yeah, like, get... the fact that it was specific saved it 500 power. Think about that. If it was, yeah. if it was literally generalized, this would be fifteen hundred. How much better would this card be? I mean, if you two thousand's like a lot of power, and if you're running only runs and rams in your deck, <laughs> what? I mean, two two thousand. What the fuck are you laughing at? Two thousand basically an oversize. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean the plus two thousand, dumbass. Not the, <laughs> not on its own. Yeah, she's no. Sucks, I'm saying like... it could still be plus two thousand. It would be fifteen hundred power itself if it could target anything. If it targeted magic or weapon, okay. If it targeted Rem, Ram, or Rosewall, it would be fifteen hundred. If it targeted anything magic or weapon, it would be a thousand. I would play either of those cards <laughs> over this card any day. Dude, what are you talking about? If you're running the Ren and Rem and Ram deck, then the first one is be fine. Fine. No, it wouldn't be. What do you mean? It pumps your Rems <sighs> by two thousand. It sucks. F. That's all I have. It's just like, it's just way too situational. It's it's not great, but like in the mids deck, it could be okay. I'm just moving on. This sucks. I think you're getting a little bit triggered there, buddy. I am triggered. <laughs> is it me? Yeah. I, yeah. This I, is this is you. This is you right now. It the... is me. I'm very mad. I'm stamping I... feet, Beatrice. Uh, <laughs> when this ability <laughs> activates up to one time per turn, <laughs> would one of your other Music, magic or weapon characters. I almost said music. <laughs> uh, becomes reverse. This card gets two thousand power until end of turn. So it goes to four five, on a condition. I, I guess if your opponent attacks in the wrong order and they don't read your cards properly, you can catch them off guard. But eh. yeah, if they literally don't look at your card and say that's a dumb lolly, I'm not going to read it, and then they get fucked, then it's good. <laughs> <laughs> D, D plus D plus yeah. for not reading your opponent's cards. <laughs> that bad card. 
Wow, we're really getting into the chaff here. <laughs> yeah. We're, uh -huh. we're, the bees are coming, guys. Yeah. We're almost there. <laughs> Next almost. card. Just out of the bath, Subaru. 6,000 power. When he's frontal attacked, reveal the top card of your deck. If that's a Pinex, this is your waiting room. <laughs> So, he, has a, he has a chance to kill himself. I, I guess it's flavorful. And you have to, you have to do it. This isn't a may. Oh, Dude, that's shit, fucking I'm flavorful a... as hell. Like he climaxes. Yeah, this gets, a, this gets, a, this gets an F. <laughs> this gets an D F for I flavor. About that. This gets an F for flavor. D oh, for flavor. How lewd! Bush <laughs> Road of America. I, I wasn't thinking about that, said Subaru. Yeah, F for flavor. <laughs> oh my god. Lude. <laughs> Alright. Next card. Alright. Alright, here's a cool card. Oh, a good card. Yeah. Drill hair styled girl Beatrice. Uh, two, one backup. Pay two. When you use stretch back, it may pay the cost. If you do, deal one damage to your, to your opponent. It's a 2500 backup. Ugh. You're just copying Batman now. Uh, ping, ping backups are sick. Copying Joker. Ping so, backups are the future. If your, opponents, cool if your opponent sees that you have this card, and they're at 3-6, they're scrambling. Like, <laughs> like th th that alone, I think these are super cool. It's definitely expensive, but, like, the fact that this exists means you can threaten. Right, the threat. Like, it's yeah, the threat. it's the threat. Like, even if you never play it, like, if you have space and you just want to run another backup, this is such a funny threat. Hey, man, it's, it's, the, it's the margins that win in White Schwartz, you know? It's yeah. the, uh, the marginal interactions, and this is, like... This is so strong. This, yeah, this I mean, can I... just make your opponent misplay. Like, they see it go into your stock... They, they see it go into your clock once, and when they're 3-6 and they're scrambling to kill you, they ask to see your waiting room, and it's not there... <laughs> They're just shaking, dude. Like, like, think about it. Like, you only have three stock, but you have three characters on field, and that backup isn't in your waiting room. Your opponent is instantly shaking. Like, that is so good. She's aight. Yeah, I, I like aight. it. I like yeah. it. It's a good card. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a B. I'd give it a C. It's kind of niche. I think it's very I clear, good. Hold on. I clearly remember during the Batman video, you gave the Joker that does the same thing. You guys were shitting all over it. Because it was contesting with a mill backup. Well, okay. This is also contest. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. You're right. You're right. So this is contesting with Smugmelia, Powercraft Smugmelia, also known as Yukata Amelia, and Tap Counter. <laughs> so it is it is really hard to fit this in. Um doesn't change the fact it's a good card. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. change the fact it's good, though. Yeah, I'm going to stick with B. It is good. Okay. Alright, next, I guess. Are we almost done with the reds? Yep. Almost, oh, this is an yeah. easy one. Another D, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. F, or I what do we give the last 85? I gave it an F, yeah. It was vanilla. Life's too short for vanillas. Vanilla. Next card. Who's this? Is uh, uh, you me? Okay, yeah. Source of the Curse. This fucking stupid ass Chimosuke. little dog. This fucking bald dog. Uh, <laughs> if you have two or less magic or weapon characters, you can't play this card. Uh, draw two cards. Uh, ditch two cards. Choose one of your opponent's characters. It gets minus a thousand power. Choose one of your characters. That character gets. This card was written by AI. <laughs> like, <laughs> this card was wrote by a deep learning generator. <laughs> like this. <laughs> This is just a card with text that does some amount of effects um, that exist in Weishwartz, and it's unplayable. F minus. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, uh, it's a double. two. Oh, wait a second. It's a two zero. It's free. Yeah. <laughs> I still hate. I hate it. I hate mm. it. Bad card. Well, all right, I'm gonna up it from an F. It's still bad. It is a random association of effects. Feel, <laughs> it's like Feel... it's like they fed. Like a re-zero episode to an artificial <laughs> intelligence generator, and like a bunch of Weiss Schwartz cards, and this is what it crapped out at the other end. They made it a card. <laughs> like this is just free association of effects, like costs, and like card types, <laughs> and this is what popped out the other end. It's a uh, it's a uh, faithless looting. 
<laughs> it's, it's With a not... power drain, I guess. I, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I get... <laughs> You yeah. still have to play the event, though. It minuses you in the long run. Yeah, it's, like, not great. Next card. Mm. Alright, this is it. I mean, we already basically talked about this, right? Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah. I think it's... Th this version of Forbidden Library is solidly playable, especially yeah, compared this is... to the other one. The, the last version of Forbidden Library was good. This is better. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a B-, minus only because... It's slightly better than a niche card because you can yeah. use it to summon. If you're running some amount of Betty cards, you can use it to summon the level three Betty, which is good outside the Betty deck. Um, but it is like niche in the fact that it is can only summon Bettys. It has to, you have to specifically return a level two Beatrice though, so you need to be running a level two Betty of some kind. Yeah. It's not just any Betty. Well, if you're running the Puck level buff, you can run the the. Uh, Oh yeah, that's right. That's so right. like, okay, so like, in the in this like crazy bizarre world I'm referencing, uh, you're running the one o Betty bomb, and when your opponent like <laughs> sides the one o Betty bomb or leaves it alive, um, you buff it with puck thing and turn it into a Betty finisher. And since it changes from your hand, right? It comes down from your hand. You still get to do the pay one, ping one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, that's a pretty good interaction. So for Whatever two... you say, man. Yeah. But it's still better than a niche card, I think, very slightly. All right. I think that's it for red. That's it. That's Wrap it for it red. Yeah. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll be uh, back with blue uh, as soon as we can get through it.